What's up, folks? After the tragic events of yesterday in Virginia Beach, it's suiting that it's uh, nasty and rainy today. So that's just a result of everybody mourning, I guess. Uh, the my thoughts are this. Be very careful about who you are not careful, but think about when you interact with people, how you interact with people and how you brighten their day may save somebody else's life. From what I read the article this morning about this guy that shot up the, the municipal building at, at the court uh, at the courthouse was he was a loner he just didn't hang out with people he only he then nobody seen him ever take out trash ever seen him bring in food that he was just a loner I don't know how he was engaged at work or if he was very engaging but to me he just sounds like one of them typical guys that you always hear that are just, you know, standoffish that don't communicate well with people. I say that to say this. Engaging with someone, always giving somebody a, a common courtesy smile, talking with people, always getting to know people. You know, making people feel that they have a friend in this world when they may not. Making them feel that, you know, interested in their in their lives truly when you prefer not to be you know just being a more people person as a society and getting to know when somebody is not is not clicking on all cylinders or in the brain whenever something's just not quite right you know might save somebody's life one day it's just an absolute tragedy And, and and a lot of it, I believe, has to do with, you know, people's mental stability. It has nothing to do with the guns. It has nothing to do with what political affiliation you're with. It has everything to do with how someone functions in society and where they see their place in society and where their brain and the chemicals in their brain are at. Because they're always changing with everyone. Some people have run higher feel-good genes and feel-good brain chemicals. And some people don't produce enough. And some people's brain are so wired that they talk to people that aren't there. I don't know the full extent of what this guy was. I can tell you just from what little bit I've read in the paper today when they finally released who it was and I'm not going to say his name I'm not going to give him that credit but seemed to me he was missing something in his everyday life mentally he was just not functional on all cylinders now these are my thoughts you may not agree with them I know it probably won't it won't set well with some the way I think, but I'm not young. I'm not old as many, but I've been around enough to see things, enough to know some people you just know aren't functional on all cylinders, and sometimes people do crazy crap because their mind is not functioning correctly. Do I think this guy has some mental issues? You damn right I do. Why? Because it takes a freaking psychopath, lunatic, to go up and shoot all the people that he shot up. Starting with the guy in the parking lot and all the other people he shot. Was it cold and calculated? Sure. But you can be a little nutty and still be cold and calculating. So, again, interact with people. Be happy with people. Take notice of people. 
have an understanding of how people think. Try to try to really engage people sometimes just to see where their mind is at. See if you should be worried about these people. In other words, treat everybody how you want to be treated. But at the same time, keep in mindful, you know, that some people sometimes just aren't right. And sometimes some people just need to be taught and have a friendly conversation that might, you know, help them a bit during the day and get their mind back on track. And be mindful of them people that might that might not be running on a full deck of a full deck of cards. And the elevator might ride not rise to the top. Because those are the ones you gotta worry about. You gotta do something about the mental health in this country. Because the mental health overlooking that part is getting folks killed. That's my thoughts. You'll have a good day.